Hey everyone, welcome back. If you are new, my name is Ashley and I love everything drugstore, high-end, makeup, skincare, fashion, you name it, I'll try to cover it all. Don't forget that I am new here on YouTube. I've only been doing this for six months or so, so bear with me and if you would like to grow with me over the years on YouTube, please consider hitting the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you're notified each and every time I upload. In today's video, we are going to be trying, I am going to be trying, all new makeup, ranging from, it just, it's a full face of all new makeup. High-end, drugstore, you name it, we're going to cover it. So, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, I've just pulled my hair back with these, um, these are the creaseless clips that everyone talks about. I'm now going in with some MAC Fast Response Eye Cream, just to prep underneath the eyes for our makeup application. This stuff rocks. If you guys want great, great results with concealer, as you can see it really hydrates the under eyes, amazing. And here's what it looks like, it says MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. This is heaven in a tube for under the eyes, for mature skin, for any type of skin that is very, very dry and crepey underneath the eye. So for a brow pencil, I'm going in with the Kat Von D Signature Brow Pencil, um, gosh it's been I feel like ages since I've used this, years since I've used this, so. And guys, I don't know anything about Kat Von D and the controversy, but this is just a very, very, very fine tip. I mean, it's even like more fine than most at the drugstore. So I'm gonna be starting in the middle and just going outward and flicking up. It's really, really, really nice consistency it sort of has a tug on it where you know you need to put some pressure on there to get the product on I like it have you guys ever tried this brand of brow pencil do you stand by it what do you guys think I think it's really really nice all right, I think that turned out really, really well. And to set the brows, I'm going with the Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt in medium brown. The dark brown just looked like super, super black. Apparently, this is everyone's new holy grail, so it looks like this. It has, you know, two combs to it. One is small and one is longer, so I'm going to go with the smaller one. I feel like that just ruined my brow. Maybe it's not meant to go in the front of the brow. I kind of feel like that just ruined this part of it. Maybe I can tap it out. Well, I guess we'll have some bold brows today. Okay, for primer, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. And this is, there's quite a buzz about this going on right now, so it's white in consistency. I'm just going to put it in my T-zone quite a lot, isn't it? Oh my goodness. But it feels really, really silky. But I should get a sponge and blend this out because it's too much. But as you can see, it is making my skin very matte. All right, I'm going to start in with our face first. And I'm, my face first. It's like, why do I always say that? Our, we, you're not even here, but whatever. Going in with the Wet n Wild New Dewy Foundation. So it says new here, and I chose the shade Soft Beige. So I'm just going to add a few stripes at a time, because I don't know anything about this. I'm just going to use my Shop Miss A sponge. It's only a dollar. Does better than the Beauty Blender, in my opinion. It's my favorite. I do have a full Shop Miss A video if you're new. Um, so this is going on actually quite nice. I tried this out before and I really actually hated it and I just didn't know if I had applied too much product or if it was a day I was sweating, I'm not really sure. But that was just a very small amount, I feel like it did a pretty good job. I'm just going to put some on my sponge a little bit and go in with the areas I need to the most and then kind of with the excess hit the forehead. Yeah, it, it's nice coverage. This is a medium right off the bat because I really didn't use hardly anything at all. A little bit down the jaw. So this is really, really pretty. I find this to be a natural finish. 
really, really nice. Before I do concealer, I'm going to put on my eye primer. Now, this is the Fenty Beauty Eye Primer. Um, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this. I'm just going to add this and then let this dry down because it does take a while to dry down, I heard. I'm just going to blend that with the Beauty Sponge. Now it dries matte, but it takes like two minutes to do. So I feel like that looks really nice and it's drying down actually very well. I'm going to be taking the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. I have to say some of this stuff is not new, but it's new to me. And I can't remember, you know, my thoughts about it, how I feel, but some of it truly is new. So I'm just going to apply. I heard this was super full coverage. I just can't remember my thoughts on it. So I'm going to err on the side of caution. And then just taking that sponge again and bouncing right in. Bouncing or blending. I saw some New Zealand uh, YouTuber that said, why do Americans always say pounce <laughs> on with their beauty blender? Pounce. She doesn't understand it. I don't know why either. I just, they blend. So those of you that are new, I do have videos on some of this stuff that I'm going to be using today. Um, you know, like the Shop Miss A. I have a full face of Shop Miss A. What are you guys up to? This is really full coverage, but it looks really, really nice. It's not cakey. It's not heavy. For eyeshadow, I have the new Maybelline. Um, it's like the Nudes of New York palette. I want to test that and see how good it is. To set the under eye and the face, I'm taking this Maybelline Master Fix. I have had this for so long, never used it. So we're going to be using it today. Oh my gosh, look, it's never been opened. I have to open it. I don't know, guys. It's a really white powder, but I've heard really good things about it, that it's super finely milled. I was just wondering, you know, what about flashback? I will let you guys know, I'll be taking some photos, but I'm not the type of YouTuber that has, you know, all this advanced technology like all the other big YouTubers out there. Um, there are big changes coming to my channel though, definitely. With the tax season, I will be getting some new equipment, things like that. So there will be changes most definitely, so I am new, so bear with me, I did just start out. Everyone has to start somewhere. I feel like it's brightening, like really, really brightening, so maybe I shouldn't use it all over the face. I don't know, guys. I don't feel like it's really setting anything down right now. I still feel like it's really, really tacky. That's okay. I'll set that down for now. It feels really, really lightweight, you know, like really silky in between my fingers super silky. I'm just wondering if it's just because I'm really hot. I had the window open and then someone started shoveling so I had to shut it. It's so hot in here. I know I'm in New York and it's 45 here. I know you guys are going to be like oh my god 45 that's so cold but it's been you know in the negatives here so it's actually really hot today in my opinion. Super super hot. So, since I'm unfamiliar with that formula, I'm just going to go in with my MAC um, pressed powder foundation to go over the outskirts of my face. This will add a little bit of coverage as well if you ever have MAC powder. MAC face powder. This is one of my favorites. I think this is NW20. I forgot because it's like the whole back is, oh, it's, it just says light medium. So this is light medium. This really, really seals the deal for powder. It's awesome. All right, now for eyes. Here's the Maybelline Nudes of New York palette. This looks absolutely stunning, super amazing. We've got this nice green color, nice gold, rose gold. We've got, let's swatch some of these and see how they perform. Those look really beautiful. Okay, those are really pretty. 
So, awesome. And then I want to swatch this one too. That one's really pretty. So let's just do some eye look. Um, if you are a neutral person, you will absolutely love this. Look at this beautiful dark red brown. There's a deep chocolate brown. Ooh, look at this pioneer shade. I wonder how that... Ooh, that is so pretty. And then we've got brow bone shades. I mean, how awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the shade Artist. And I'm just going to run that on the brow bone. These are really stunning. Then I'm going to go into Heroine. Ooh, that one's pretty. I wouldn't expect it to have that sort of shift on it. The taupey shade. Okay, then I want to go into Explorer. Ooh, that one is very pigmented. Okay, a little goes a long way. But how pretty is this? I'm going to perfect this sort of a little bit more. Just running it through the crease. And a little bit elongating the eye at the outer edge. This eye, I really messed up on. That's okay. Just take a clean blending brush and blend, blend, blend. I really like this shade a lot. Sort of like a rustic shade. Next I'm going to go into this Globe Trotter shade. It's that um, red brown. It's super beautiful. I already went in this eye with it. And so I'm just blending, blending, blending. Always start with a little bit of product on the outer edge. And then when you think there's nothing left, then diffuse inward. And I also am going to take this on my lower outer third. Awesome. This pigment is incredible. This is almost, I mean, it's just as good as, you know, those new Huda Beauty. I did videos on them. I don't know what they're called anymore, though. But the new Huda Snap Shadows. No, Fenty. The Fenty Snap Shadows. I want to go in with this shade called Founder. It's this really beautiful, sort of like dirty gold. And I'm going to spray it with some setting spray. You can use whatever you want. And I'm just going to see how this performs. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at that. You guys, this palette, I'm telling you, if you don't have it, you're going to want it. I think this is definitely worth it from the drugstore. This is one of the most impressive drugstore palettes that I have seen in a long time, including the Milani. So I love Milani. I'm partial to Milani, and I love this more. I'm going to take this originator shade over here and place that on the inner third. Ooh, that's That is stunning. Sort of like white silverish shade, but I'm loving it. And then I'm just gonna take this originator shade again and place that on the inner corner, the brow bone. How stunning is the shade? And also on the lower inner third. I don't have anything new for mascara or lashes. I'm gonna go do that and then I'll be right back. All right, lashes, mascara on. I'm going to be contouring with the Kevin Aquan contour powder. I got the mini one with the contour and the highlight, but today we're just gonna be focusing on the contour. Let's see how this works. It's a nice ashy tone, as you can see. I'm gonna to try to look for a dupe for this since it's so pricey. This right here is $25. But I love the way this is contouring right now. It's really nice and pretty. Really soft. Stunning. I'm really taking my time because I don't want to be, you know, <laughs> too pigmented and crazy. Just taking my time sculpting out this forehead. And a little under the chin. 
right here. Yep, that's where I need it. That's really pretty. I have to do the sides of my nose. I hate to say it, but I think that this powder is definitely worth it to invest in. Until I can find a dupe, I would say I'm really happy with this. It does great for nose contour, which is, woo, oh my gosh. But, wow, really cinches the nose in. But when you make a mistake, don't worry, because we've got the blender. Our little blender friend here. We can just tone that down. You guys, you can't deny that that's pretty. Wow. That's a nice contour. Let's see. For bronzer. I had something new, but I can't remember what it was. What? All right, for bronzer, I'm going with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Dark Chocolate Matte Bronzer. Ooh, that is so pretty. That is stunning, guys. I feel like my complexion looks really, really bomb right now. Like that Wet n Wild. I like it better today than I did the other day when I put it on. It must have been weather conditions or something. Or I was just too sweaty as like normal. I'm always like so hot, no matter what. Something new that I got was a blush. Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Chic to Chic. Cheek to Chic. Oh my gosh, that's hard to say. In Pillow Talk, the blush. So I guess you swirl, dot, and then blend. That is stunning. I can't deny that. Swirl, tap. Oh my gosh. I got this on a major discount, this blush. Ugh. You can't argue that that is not just so stunning. A little bit here, forehead, across the nose. Oh my word, guys, if you haven't tried this blush, don't because you're going to want to buy it. Ooh, that's really pretty. For highlight, I'm going with the Ciate London. This is the Confetti Highlighter. It looks like this. I was intrigued and I bought this. I did not get it in my BoxyCharm, but ooh, that is really nice. Super gorgeous. It's like a natural lit from within highlight almost, but I bet this can be built up to blinding. Yeah, so see that sheen? It's really pretty. I like to put some right here and on the nose, forehead, cupid bow. Wow. This is, whoa, I love that. Love that highlight. Woo! This nose contour though is a little cray cray. Can we agree? I'll take a powder brush to that after. For our lips. Um, let's see. I want to go in with this Revolution Soap Syrup. It's not even open yet. Oh my gosh. That's how I know it's new. And I had a new lip liner. Okay, for lip liner, I went in with Milani Most Natural. And I have this mini Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in JK Magic that I'm going to be using. got the mini because I wasn't sure if I'd like it but I do and it's really nice this color is absolutely perfect Wow so I love the way the complexion turned out I'm going to set it with some setting spray let's use this Farsali rose gold skin mist Sounds ultra bougie. And then I'll go do my hair and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I've got my hair done. I loved everything I tried today. There's not one thing that I can say I did not like. And um, yeah, I am stunned by that eyeshadow palette. I mean, look at this eye look. It is stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. I 100% recommend that palette. 
There are so many looks that can be done with that palette. I mean, wow. And I love the Kevin Kwan powder. I love everything. I think my complexion looks pretty flawless. Really do like that Wet n Wild um, foundation. If you guys can see, it looks really, really good. I love the Charlotte Tilbury. I love everything. So thank you guys for watching today. Subscribe if you are not already. Like the video if you did. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.